Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and in this video, I'll show you how you can design your funnel step pages using Elementor and I'm going to show you how you can use our Elementor widgets uh, to make the funnel functional. So let's get started. Now, as you can see, I already have WP Funnels installed and activated and I'm on the overview page and here I already have a funnel that I've created earlier. But for this video, I'm going to create a brand new funnel. Now, first I'm going to show you how you can design uh, the funnel pages for a funnel template that I'm going to import and then I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing uh, when you create a funnel from scratch. So first let me go ahead and create a funnel on the top right let me click on add new funnel and this will give me the choices to uh, choose a template or create one from scratch. So let's say I'm going to create a funnel for an ebook so let me just uh, click on the ebook template and so I'm just going to name it design ebook and then I'm going to click on import and this is going to import my ebook template and there you go so uh, i've just imported an ebook template and as you know for any sales funnel it should have the three basic steps the landing the checkout and the thank you and they have been imported right here now since this is a template i imported all of the pages already have the designs okay you just need to make it functional uh, i'll also show you how to do that now, previously I have told you that uh, for any sales funnel, after you add the three basic steps, the very next thing to do is to uh, configure what would be the main product uh, offer for this funnel. So let me just go ahead and add the main offer product for this funnel and you do that in the checkout step. Select the checkout step and click on configure and uh, it will open up the drawer and here you search for the product you want to sell. So I want to sell my design thinking ebook. I'm just going to choose that and click on add product and click on save changes and there you go so now uh, i have added a product now after i've assigned the main product this funnel is pretty much functional but as you know that this is a template we have created which means its contents are not really optimized for your product directly so what you have to do is you need to change the written content uh, maybe some images and colors in the pages and this should be good to go so let me just go ahead and show you how you can do that let me start with the landing page click on the landing step and click on the edit icon and this will open up your landing step in uh, elementor edit mode since uh, i have chosen elementor as my uh, preferred page builder and there you go so this is the uh, landing step uh, page okay as you can see uh, it has uh, all the designs created and everything is editable just like you would edit any element page okay except a few things in the landing page the all the cta buttons in our templates are basically our widgets let me show you this one is one of our widgets let me click on this edit and on the left side you'll see it has some extra options so this is something we call as the next step button uh, here this one the purpose is checkout and then uh, when we go to the next step button content you have the option to change the text of the button uh, you, you can change the alignment the size and maybe add an icon all right and besides that you also get the default elementor uh, configuration such as the style where you can set the typography maybe add some shadow change the text color all right uh, and you also have advanced uh, settings here that you would normally get on elementor all right so this is the same for all the call to actions button we kept in any uh, landing page in any template for ourselves all right so if i scroll down there is another call to action and this is another uh, time we have used the widget in this page okay now what this do widget does is if you click on this it's going to take uh, you to the next step of the funnel but uh, that wouldn't be the case if you'd use a normal elementary button all right so in our funnel in the landing page you can use any design uh, you probably can import any template from the elementary template library as well just make sure that the call to action buttons are our widgets all right uh, now uh, let me just go back uh, to the canvas and uh, let me just edit the checkout step And uh, once you edit the checkout step again, it's going to open up in Elementor edit mode. And there you go. The checkout page is loaded. And uh, here, if you scroll down, you can see it's just a traditional checkout page. Uh, uh, don't worry about the payment. I've just enabled test mode there since I'm running a test site here. All right. Uh, now, one thing is over here, this form that you see is actually our widget. 
Let me just show you. If you click on this, it's going to give me some options on the left side. What this does is it gives you option to change the layout of this, maybe into one column, two column or multi-step. All right. Uh, so the multi-step is an interesting thing, which I'll definitely show you in a separate video. And the other two is pretty self-explanatory. You can see this is in two columns now. If I move it to one column, this everything will be in a single column view. Okay. Uh, other than that, you have the option to uh, choose the order bump. But from here, all you have the control is to choose the design of the order bump. Uh, to enable and assign a product, you have to do it from the canvas. Okay. So for now, let me just keep it as it is. Uh, I'll show you order bump in a separate video anyways. Okay. Now for this form, you have more control than you think. Uh, you can go to style and here you can change the uh, style for any section of this form. So uh, let's say you want to change the heading style within the building uh, details area. You can change it over here. You can change it, change the label style. You can change everything. Basically, you can change visually everything in this form. Okay. And other than that, you also have the option to uh, edit the fills of the checkout form, which I'll show you a bit later. Okay. So now uh, that's the checkout uh, page. You just change the design. And as long as you have this widget uh, as the checkout form, the checkout page is good to go. Anyone who makes the payment, he'll go to the next step. Okay. So let me just now go back. Uh, I don't want to save and let me go to the thank you step now let me select the thank you and let me edit that there you go the thank you page is loaded now in this page this thing that you're seeing the order details this is basically our widget if you click on this it'll give you the option to choose if you want to hide a specific section from the order details area okay and everything else you can design on your own it's elementary so you have full control okay so uh, you do get advanced options in the order details to choose margins assigning positioning borders and maybe uh, other transformation if you want to okay so that's just how easy it is to design uh, your funnel pages you just have to change the design and the widgets are already there okay when you import a funnel template all right So there you go. That's how easy it is to design funnel steps and make the funnel functional. Okay. The designs are already there. The widgets are already placed. All you have to do is change the design and tweak uh, the position of the widgets however you want in the pages and it should work just fine. Okay. But it, that's not the case when you uh, create a funnel from scratch. Uh, in, when you create a funnel from scratch, you have to do everything on your own. Let me just show you quickly. Let me go back. And now I'm going to create a new funnel. But this time I'm going to create a funnel from scratch. So let's say design ebook from scratch. Let me just click on create funnel. And there you go. This is the blank canvas. And when you create a funnel from scratch, as I told you, for a sales funnel, the first thing to do is to add the three default steps the landing, the checkout, and the thank you. Let me go ahead and do that one from scratch now I obviously had the option to import a page template in that case for the page templates they would already have the designs and widgets placed all right but I want to show you what you do if you didn't have the designs uh, or the widgets placed so I'm just gonna create steps uh, from scratch and I'm going to show you how you can place the widgets over there. Okay, so I'm just added a landing step. I'm going to add a checkout step and a thank you step to follow. There you go. The checkout step is added and now I'm going to add the thank you step. There you go. Now I'm just going to connect the steps. And as I told you, once you add the three basic steps, the next important thing to do is to assign the main offer product to the funnel. So I'm just going to assign the main offer product in the checkout. I'm just going to select it and click on configure. And here I'm just going to assign the same book I assigned in the previous funnel, uh, the design thinking ebook. And I'm going to add product. And there you go. So I've assigned the main product. Now it comes the time to design the funnel pages. All right. So let me start with the landing. Uh, since this is not a template, all of these are blank, right? So you have to design everything from scratch. So click on edit and this will open up the landing step. 
in Elementor Edit Mode. There you go, you can see there is nothing there, okay? So what you have to do is you need to design this page so you can use your normal Elementor widgets. So let's say I'm just gonna add a heading to this, okay? So let's say, I'm just gonna say test one, okay? So there you go. So just like that, you can drag and drop uh, elements here and make this page however you want. Just all you need to make sure that the call to action buttons are a widget. So in the widget area, you can search for next step and this will give you the next step button which is that we have created you can drag and drop it anywhere you want and this will add up our next step button widget you'll also find it in the widget area at the very bottom let me show you if you click on this and go to the very bottom you'll see that there's a section called wv files and there you'll get the option next step button now uh, for the next step button if i go to the options you'll see on the left side it has on a content tab where you can change the content in it such as the text uh, the size of the text the alignment so let's say i'm giving it a center so the button will go to center if i give it to left it will stay left all right i can even add an icon to this button and uh, other than that i have the default style options i can change the color of the button so let's say i'm going to make it somewhere blue okay i can change the text color so let's say i'm just gonna take it somewhere light color there you go all right so other than that uh, i can add a border radius let's say 25 and it becomes round uh, i have the option to increase or decrease padding let's say this one uh, or maybe i'll use 50 this will make it into a large button which is not so wise okay so there you go uh, i'm just going to change it to 10. this looks much neat okay and i have more options in the advanced view where i can add margin padding and many other things that, that you'd normally get in any other elements or widgets in Elementor. okay so that's how you add a, a next step button why you should use the next step button because this is what triggers the action of going to the next step of the funnel so in the landing if someone clicks on next step button he'll be taken into the next step which is the checkout and there uh, the product they're buying that will be already added okay so let me just click on update and this will be saved and you can directly preview from here or you can preview it from the canvas uh, so select the landing click on preview and you can get a good preview of how the page looks now i haven't made any changes so uh these are the only things i added just now and they're right there okay i have to make changes uh, more to this you can uh, design the whole page however you want okay now for the checkout step again this is blank since i did not import any template let me edit this and there you go uh, this is a blank page now since this is the checkout step you'll obviously need a checkout form and what we did was we created a widget to give you the checkout form okay so first let me just add a heading all right i mean i like when there's a heading on the page if there's no heading it feels weird to me so i'm just gonna add this checkout and there you go uh now if i want to add a checkout step what i'll do is i'm go i'm gonna go to the widget area i can search for checkout and this will give me the checkout step we created for wp files I can just drag and drop it anywhere and this will open up the uh, widget uh, or you'll get a preview of the checkout form okay you can obviously get this by going here and scrolling to the very bottom into the wp funnel section and you'll find the checkout widget there so let me edit the checkout uh, form and here i can change the layout into one column or two column or multi-step as i told you i'm going to show you multi-step in a separate video and i can also control order from design and content here but I have to uh, choose the order one product in the canvas first. So I'll show that in a separate video as mentioned earlier. You'll also be able to change the style of the checkout form. Here you can choose the colors, the typography and margins to any elements in this uh, checkout form. So you, you can completely customize the design of this checkout form, okay? And you have the other advanced options that apply to all widgets in Elementor, okay? So in a checkout step, you need to make sure you at least have this checkout widget added because uh, if someone purchases from here only then he's going to go for the next step okay so let me update this and now let me go back to the canvas and uh, next is the thank you step uh, again this is blank i'll just edit it and it'll open up in elementor edit mode Now in the thank you step, uh, you can add your designs and here we need to use the widget called order details. Let me just search that for you. There you go, the order detail widget. 
you can drag and drop it anywhere and it will be placed there okay so this is the widget you use in thank you step with which you decide to show the details of your order over here okay so any thank you page you make you need to make sure you at least have this widget there or else the thank you page might not be entirely relevant or you won't be able to show the order details there you can obviously create a thank you page without the order details widget because there is no step after thank you in that case you can just uh, design the thank you page in any way you want okay uh, so once you're happy with the thank you page you can again update and you can close this and there you go now my funnel is completely functional I'll just have to save this and uh, I can go ahead and start using it. Well, provided that obviously I didn't design much of anything over here, uh, you'll have to design the whole thing, add content to it, add images to it, make this into a great file, right? So thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.